In this lesson, we are going to add some banners on the site. And as I mentioned before, there's two ways you can do this. The first method is you can use Google AdSense or you can just put a traditional banner there. So let's start off with adding some Google AdSense. Uh, what we want to do is we want to put the banner right at the very top here and also on the side. So we need to know what positions you know these are. And to find out the positions, you go to Extensions Template Manager, and you want to click on Options. Where it says Preview Module Positions, select Enable, Save and Close. This is going to allow you to see what position you need to put the banner. And you want to click on GK News 2, this little eye right there, you want to click on that. And once you click on this, this shows you the, the positions of this particular template. And as I mentioned before in the beginning of this course, that the module positions let you know where you can put things on the particular template. Every template have different module positions. So this one I have a module position here where it says banner top. And we have another position here, you know, sidebar right, which is where we'll have to put the other banner. So let's go ahead and put a banner, you know, the AdSense code at the banner top here. And before we add the banner, we need to install um, an extension that is going to allow us to use uh, Google codes and to be able to put it there. So you go to extensions, extension manager, you want to go to upload package file. And I'm just going to grab this extension that I'm using for this. All right, once you've selected the package, just click Upload and Install. All right, you get this message. Uh, it's been successfully installed. You have to please clear your cache. So the way that you clear your cache is you go to System, and you click on Clear Cache. All right, since there's nothing there to clear, everything is OK. So now we go back to the Module, uh, module Manager here, and you want to click on New click on custom HTML and let's scroll to the bottom what happens when we install that component is it added this little button here at the bottom where it says insert code this allows you to insert any type of code right into your Joomla site so you click on click on the button where it says insert code so once you're here what you have to do is you have to put in the code between these two tags the source tags so you can delete everything else here. It's just letting you know that you can put in, you know, JavaScripts and, you know, different scripts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the code that I have here from my AdSense account. And I am going to just paste it there. And then once you're done, make sure that you don't delete the source uh, closing here or the opening there. If you do that, then it's going to uh, it's not going to work, you know, properly. So once you've done that, you click insert. All right. So now the code has been inserted there and you want to click on where it says position. Click on it and you want to select the banner top. So just type banner underscore and as you can see right here it says banner top or you can choose this from banner top here so once you've done that you want to make sure that you put a title I'm just going to put in banner and then you want to make sure too that where it says show title you select hide and go to menu assignment make sure that it's on all pages what this means is that this banner or this ad is going to show on every page of the site which is exactly what you want all right so once you've done that you want to click you can either click save to preview or you can just click save and close this just click save so when i come to any page let me just click on the latest page we should be able to see the banner right up here. So this is the banner that we just added from, you know, from AdSense. And it's a very easy, the easiest way to add a banner to your site. 
So we'll add this band once you make sure that everything is shown, you know, accordingly there, then you want to come back and just click save, uh, save and new. And let's click on another page. Let's click on the trending page just to double check. All right. So once again, the ads are showing on that page as well. All right. So now we're going to do another ad for the right side banner, right? And we're going to add this to the right side of the page. So let's click on the insert code. I've already copied the code here. I'm just going to insert it. And then let's check the position, make sure it's in the right position, sidebar right. So this is the sidebar right, which is this right section here. And then you want to make sure that the show title is set to hide. Menu assignment on all pages, make sure it's shown up on pages. Or if you want this to show up on just specific pages, you can select only on the selected pages. And whatever page that you check here, or uncheck, you know, it's going to show up only on the pages that you select. You click on save. And once you refresh this page, let me just click another page, the latest page. And you scroll down. And there is the banner that we just added right here. So if you want this particular banner to show up just on selected pages, um, you can do that as well. So if you don't want, if you want this banner to show up only on this page, the latest page, you can do that as well. Let me show you how. So you go to menu assignment and you click on only on this on the pages selected. And then you click on none where it says select none. And then you just scroll down to find that page that you want that to show up on. And let's just choose latest. And then you click save. What's going to happen is that when I go to any other page, this banner will show up there on any other page. Let me show you. So let's click on trending and let's scroll down. And if you notice the banner is not here, let's click on categories and scroll down. And once again, the banner is not there. So let me go back now and click select on all pages. Save and close. And let me refresh this page. And there you have it here at the bottom. So this is really great because there are times when you want to have a, a specific area where you don't want banners to be. Or if you want to charge different rates for different pages, you know, you can you can do that and just put those particular banners uh, there. But since there's AdSense, you just copy and paste it and everything shows up here. And it's, it's like I said, it's very fast. And as you know, the easier method or the easiest way to put ads on your site. So in the next lesson, we'll take a look at doing it the traditional way of, you know, putting the banners there.